Hey, thanks for checking out my channel. Today we look at a title available on both mobile and Switch, a good game for once, Downwell. This enjoyable arcade platformer is built around descending into a well. Avoid obstacles, fight enemies, and obtain upgrades to increase your chances of making it to the bottom. What's at the bottom, I wonder? I picked up this gem for a buck fifty and can't think of a better deal I've gotten in recent past. Downwell has an art style that is very NES inspired, opting for red, black, and white for the color palette. It looks amazing. Another pixel style game that does it right, with just enough to make it perfect and not overdone. It sounds odd using the term pixel for this game, but that's the best way I can describe Downwell. I don't care for the term because it sounds like it could be a bad thing, but Devolver did a great job. Any more details and it would be watered down. As your character makes their way into the well, gems will be collected as currency. It's fun to jump around specifically to snag more of them. Shops will appear where those hard earned gems can purchase additional health and ammunition. At the end of each run, an experience meter appears. Each time the meter is full, a new color palette is unlocked for the game. I'm not sure how many are available, but it's really cool to swap between them and play the game in a different light. Game Boy and Virtual Boy are a couple examples of color palettes and how the game can look, and I love that. Enemies vary from area to area in a refreshing way. Each run you will understand their movement and attacks, then use that to your advantage. A downward stomp attack can be performed that will bring a combo meter above your character's head. With a high enough kill count, a reward will be given in gems, ammo, and health. Very helpful indeed. Different modes will be unlocked, one being a slower movement, which is fruitful to achieve a high stomp combo. Showing off a high stomp count via Twitter is entertaining and engaging with other players. This is the type of game that requires you to master each area and learn the hard way. Those hardships are rewarding with each progressing run. I felt encouraged each time I made a successful passage to a new area. Once I made it to the boss, I was not going to put this game down until I beat it. Don't think too hard about the end and you won't end up in a bind like me. After a handful of runs to the boss, I realized a silly mistake I was making, then beat the game. It gave me that little rush we're all looking for, for with victory, and that brings this $1.50 gem to a close. Final words, if you were lucky enough to have purchased this gem for the low price that I did, then you're lucky enough. The leaderboard showed people beating this game in 8 minutes, but for most, it will have decent replayability with loads of runs. Definitely worth the sticker price, would recommend, and I enjoyed my time spent with Downwell. Thanks for watching, and take care.